Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we find a YouTube lore scholar who must have been trained under Chile de Nutello Castro as he goes to the Renew Mental Health Administrative Building in Washington State, where he is removed from the building by police, but acts like he had a big win because he wasn't trespassed. That means he'll be back, and when he is, I will bring it to you here in the Frontier Zone. In Moses Lake, we're going to go to the Renew Grant County Crisis Solutions Facility and do a public records request, see if they respect our right to record and photograph in public. Hello, sir. Uh, hello. We're going to see if I can get a public records request form. That is at our main uh, office, our main desk. This building is not technically opened, but our front desk can help you with that. Um, so, okay, so what is this building then? This was going to be the Crisis Solutions Stabilization Building, but right now we're changing it to something else. Oh, interesting. So it's not even being used right now? Technically, no. Just to house us, but we're not seeing clients in here or working with the community. Oh, okay. Here. So it's just a Grant County public service building? Working on it. Gotcha, okay. I know Nicole Davidson's our current, one of our managers. She knows way more about our department than I do. I'm just on the crisis team, so. Okay, so what is, uh, what caused it such that this building wasn't gonna be used for its intended purposes? I have no idea, huh. <laughs> honestly. Did it just open? This building's technically never opened, so. Wow, so they intended it to have a particular function and they just decided to completely change it. Do you know what it's gonna to change to? Unknown. I'm, I'm just the worker bee. Honestly, I don't know. Nicole Davison would be your person to ask though. Okay. Or Del Anderson. He's gotcha. our main director. So it's just, it's literally just a county building that's being unused. It's housing the crisis mobile team. Gotcha. But beyond that, yeah, no huh. other purpose. Okay. This is my supervisor and so. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Who are you? Uh, my name is Gandalf. I'm just Good. here uh, collecting some information uh, about the facility, and uh, I just got some information on in my Angel. investigative reporting here that tells me that this building really isn't even being used. What what happened? Well, we're it's being used for the crisis team. Gotcha. We, but like we, we house the crisis team. Nope. Was it meant to? Was I don't it, feel comfortable answering questions. I don't know who you are. You have a camera recording us. I, I don't. I don't. Well, I'm just an investigative journalist. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. I don't have any more Thank you for your time. Here. Yeah, no problem. I'll just no recording, please. Here. Oh yeah, no. It's allowed here. Totally can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Can we have you go no next door? I just. Oh, I will admit it. I'm just gonna gather some more content for my story and then. Uh... Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks. Good. Um. So I, I'm gonna have to ask you to go next door though because we can't have any clients or members of the public here in this building. It's open to the public. Uh, so it's not because this building is not licensed to have clients in here. So I, I'm gonna have to ask to have you go next door. To oh the yeah, room. I'm not a client. I'm just. No, I know, but even just members of the public because there are staff working here. So for HIPAA and confidentiality reasons, we can't have anyone in the building that's not a staff member. So you're welcome to go to the lobby next door, though. Uh, I'm still not understanding why I can't be here and film. Um, because you're not a staff member here. It doesn't say it's a restricted building. Um, correct, it doesn't say it on the door, but I'm not able to have someone that's not a staff member. There are people working here, so for confidentiality and HIPAA reasons, I can't have you in the building. So I'd be happy to walk you next door to the lobby. So you're saying a member of the public can't be here, but you can't point to exactly what the statutory authority is or the administrative code authority HIPAA. is? HIPAA, because of HIPAA. Yeah, HIPAA, HIPAA applies to you, not me. You can tell that this foreigner studied under Chile de Nutella Castro by his lack of an intelligent argument. She is clearly saying that a member of the public who is recording cannot be there because of HIPAA. While the foreigner is correct that HIPAA is a law that doesn't pertain to him specifically, it does pertain to him in the sense that staff have every right to ask someone who is recording their facility to leave because that is their way of safeguarding private information under HIPAA. There does not have to be a sign stating such. There was a person standing right there telling him, so he can't say he didn't know because there was no sign. Either way, if he disagrees, YouTube is not the place to take it up. 
Why is it that not a single one of these foreigners have ever taken these issues they claim to be fighting for somewhere that can make actual change, such as a legislator or the court system? Why is it that with all their YouTube research, it seems that none of them have learned what a non-public forum is or can understand that not all government buildings are automatically publicly accessible buildings? Finally, the taxpayers combined have paid for the buildings, but it does not mean that they can take ownership of the building or determine what can or can't be done with the building. So lastly, I say, do better. Right, but I can't, I have staff working here that sure. have confidential and private health information that they're working on. So I can't have members of the public, people that are non-staff members here in the building. So well, why is it open to the public then? I mean, it's not, it's not open to the public. This, well, it's open to staff. Walked right in. Correct, because the door is unlocked. Sure, it's a county building. Yes, for county employees. The door is unlocked so that staff can easily come and go from the building. If auditors got their way and every single door was locked and every single window was boarded up for privacy reasons, they'd be the first to complain that their rights are being violated and it's unconstitutional. Forditors constantly spew lame things like government buildings can't ask them to leave just because they don't like them. But here they have a valid reason for asking the forditor to leave and he still won't leave. So again, I say it, do better. Are you a county employee? No, but it doesn't say, okay. it doesn't say authorized personnel only. I mean, you, you know by administrative codes, of course, that if you're gonna restrict the public from accessing a public building that we pay for, you have to have the appropriate documents or signage up to prevent us from coming in or lock the door or whatever. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave again because my staff can't work here if you're here in the building. If you don't wanna leave, I'll call law enforcement and have them ask you to leave. Oh, sure, you wanna give them a ring. No okay. problem, I'll, I'll hang out for them. Will do, what was your name again, sir? Gandalf the White. Okay, Gandalf White. The White. No, you actually mean the idiot. Can I help you, sir? Uh, no, I uh, was just talking with her about uh, collecting some information. I'm an investigative journalist, sure. just collecting information on this unused building. Wanting to know where our tax dollars are going to, all that kind of stuff. And it's right. apparently an open building to the public, so I came in to check it out. It's open to staff, not the public right now. Yeah. And I have staff here working, and mm -hmm. they can't be working with confidential information when you're here in the lobby. Well, that's the key. It's a lobby. Forditors think that lobbies are these magical places that give them unlimited access as long as they're holding a camera. But lobbies in non-public forums don't have magical access for cameras. As forditors keep finding out every time they get trespassed and or arrested from these magical lobbies, but yet not one of them seemed to have learned. Okay, it's fine. I, mean, I think I think this is going. A, I think this is a going a direction. I don't think you guys want this to go. So you may want to reconsider what's going on here. Okay. Well, Seriously reconsider what's going on here. Okay. It's a public building. I'm I mean, very comfortable with the direction this is going. Um, okay. the phone, law enforcement will be here soon. You can sit and talk to them when they get. Here. I mean, one of two things is going to happen. Uh, sir, do you have any weapons? What? Do you have any weapons? Dispatch would like to know if you have any weapons. I'm going to answer questions of government employees. Why would I do that? Have a he refuses to right. answer the question, so I'm not <laughs> sure. I mean, that's that whole pesky Fifth Amendment thing. Just one You're subject. government employees, so mm -hmm. yeah, kind of awkward. It will be even more awkward the day that officers come in with their guns pointed at you because you refuse to tell them that you don't have a weapon, so they just have to assume that you do. In our lobby. Same as recording, though, without our permission as well. Ooh, yeah. Is that's there a, There's teams, a lot of Supreme Court cases that went over that already. Jacket, also, the Ninth Circuit already ruled in Fort Ice versus glasses, the city of Seattle that Montana public employees can be filmed in the course of their duties. So. The Supreme Court has also ruled that government buildings are non-public forums. If you want to see which argument wins, go to the White House and demand to record the president because you have the right to record government employees in the course of their duties. Good luck with that. All right. Yeah. And HIPAA is something that you guys have to abide by, not myself, so. Uh, looks like on foot. I haven't seen a cop car and I'm not sure though. Uh, no, I don't think so. This is turning into a bigger story. I mean, are you guys trying to hide something by 
No, sir. Trying to make these whimsical proclamations that certain people can and cannot come in here. Cool. Thank you so much. No, not at all. All right. Bye bye. Uh, you guys are honestly acting pretty strange. <laughs> so, well, we're, we're dealing with the person that's in here videoing with the camera with their face covered. Yeah, it's cold outside. That uh, doesn't have any reason to be here other than just to show the community what we're potentially using the building for that you believe is incorrect. Isn't that the function of the press? I'm here to collect information and to give that information to other news agencies or whatnot so that they can pick up the story and say, hey, look at this building. What's going on? It's open to the public. Then there's whimsical comments that say it's not open to the public because of HIPAA, which applies only to you guys and not me. I mean, all you got to do is put up an authorized person only sign, lock the door, and don't open it to the public. I mean, it's literally that simple. Okay, so we can't have you record in here, though, with our staff that's working here and you can wait until law enforcement comes and we can talk with them when they oh are. yeah no i'll totally wait for the police i don't i don't want okay. them to think i'm leaving my building yeah. at a time i shouldn't be able to be here mm -hmm. i mean that doesn't make any sense what are your concerns are you going to give the officers your real name and information <laughs> you know, why would i do that okay how's it going all right how you doing i'm doing all right mm -hmm. cool so i've been asked to come talk with you um yeah. do you mind talking with me i do okay cool well you, you have that right. Um, I, do. I see that you're recording. We're also recording. Everything's on video recording. Good, good. That's good. Okay. Uh, is there anything that uh, you were looking for? Is there a reason that you're here? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have business here? I do. He doesn't. Okay. Um, well, it looks like this business would like you out of the building and off the property. Are you guys asking to have me trespass? I'm asking to have you leave right now because I can't have my staff perform if you're their asking work me, with you here in the building. If you're, at, if you're requesting, I'm not going to honor that request. If you're asking me to be trespassed, then that's something you need to do if they're going to, in fact, issue me a trespass warning in accordance with the Administrative Codes of Washington State. So you guys are going to have to make that decision. Do you want to do it or not? You want him to trespass? So basically just tell them if you're trespassing, you're leaving. leaving. Are you going to do that? And before you make that decision, who are you, what's your position so that I know who's making the decision okay, you to you haven't given us any of your identifying yeah. information. I don't feel comfortable. You're a government employee. I, I have a Fifth Amendment right. I don't need to give you anything. You're a government so employee. So neither, I don't have to give you You're a government question. employee. I'll just do a public records request. Okay. I mean, if that's feel how you want to go down with it, that's feel fine. Feel free, sir. Feel free. But for you, are you, are you going to be the one? I'm the director. Okay, so are you, are you asking me to be trespassed? I'm asking you to leave. I'm denying the request. Are you asking me to be trespassed? There's this process for being trespassed. You're right. It's in accordance with Washington Administrative Code 468-300-806. That's the process. Do you want that done or not? No. You guys can leave. Or stay. Just so I don't think I was out. requesting you to leave. It was telling you to leave. No, no. They're requesting. They so asked me to leave. to leave. We're telling you to leave. Yeah. Okay, so you want me trespassed. I think there's a difference in what that is. There absolutely is. Yeah. If you're ordering me off the property, you're trespassing me. If Spoken like a true Chile D. Nutello Castro Law School scholar. These people are nice enough to not want the fraud or trespassed, but just removed from the building. Being removed from the building without a trespass means you have to leave the building, but can come back at a later time. Being removed from the building with a trespass means you have to leave the building and can't go back. There's a clear difference. So this forwarder might want to see about getting some of his Chile D. Nutello Castro $1 tuition back as he clearly overpaid. If that's the case, I want a, a no trespass warning from the local police department trespassing me in accordance with that Washington Administrative Code. And we can do that. Okay. So if you would like our assistance in having him leave the property, I need to know that he, that you, want him trespassed from this property. And trespass meaning he can't come back for whatever amount of time. Unless he has to schedule the appointment or he has the right to be here at that point. For you may want to go talk to your, your legal team first, man. You're about to make an enormous mistake. Huge. I don't appreciate you threatening us. Right. That's not a threat. That's, no, a, that's, that's a thing you're, comp you're compelled to do as a government employee. We have a lot of staff here that's very busy and they need to So are you going to do work. it or not? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's go inside. I'll take the no trespass warning then. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Now, what happens if I go back tomorrow into that building? You'll have to proceed with criminal trespassing? Would that be in the second degree? I don't... believe it would be second degree. I don't believe that's how we're going to move forward with this. 
how would you move forward? You you can't get my ID unless you have RAS that are committed well, to crime. We'll address it when it happens. We're not going to hypothetically if this happens. But um, Look, I guess I you're guess not going to walk this back that you guys just ordered me out after they trust me because you I'm, said on camera. No, hold on, Campbell. You said on camera. Do you want assistance with us removing him from the building? You said it on camera, and then he said, I want him trespassed. The mechanism, the implication was a threat of arrest now that he said, I want him trespassed. You guys are doing two things wrong now. One, you're not giving me that no trespass warning in accordance with the WAC, in accordance with the WAC, in accordance with the WAC. Two, you're trying to walk it back and make it seem like there wasn't some duress that I was put under. Absolutely I was put under duress. Okay. The implication was if I go back in there, I'm going to get arrested for criminal trespassing in the second degree. What's all that? It's the duress I was put under, killer. Pay attention. Well, well, yeah, we can take as, off here. Okay. as of right now, I guess... Uh, yeah. it is what it is, I so guess. where am I criminally trespassed from? Just inside that building? There are no criminal charges right now. Oh, excuse me. Let me correct. Thank you. Where am I give, being given a no trespass warning for? Is it just inside that building? Correct. Okay. So the rest of all this is good. I suppose so. All right. All right. Man, you guys are making a huge mistake. Going into the police department to file a complaint and get a revocation of a no trespass warning. Here he talks in circles with a sergeant with his chilly De Nutella Castro Law School knowledge, only to be told once again that there was no trespass. But this brainiac thinks that there was no trespass because he talked his way out of it. And at the end of the video, he ends with the following statement. Bam! That is how you do it, gentlemen and ladies. You go in and you handle it like that. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's now time to cool down from the Frauditor Zone. The link to the cool down video is right above and the link to my entire new cool down channel is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and hit the like button. Good night.